Okay, quick update on the uh, layout. I think I've 99% finished. Uh, I'll just talk you through what happened. This was the first, the first section that I completed. It's about here. Um, took my kids down the beach to uh, to get some shingle and got the idea of cutting this bit away to make it look like yeah, the sea had uh, had eroded. Um, into the sea. Uh, as I mentioned before, I made the trees myself. I went to a place uh, at the back of the Devil's Dyke in Sussex called uh, Woods Mill in a place called Woodman Coat. And we, we picked various dead branches and things, uh, brought them back and uh, made some fake trees out of them. So uh, that was pretty good fun. Um, now I made some trellis here, it was a really nice idea, but unfortunately the gauge is completely wrong, so um, <laughs> unfortunately that, that will have to do one uh, at one point. If you see there, look, the difference between a, a cow and the trellis, well, it looks more like a swing than it does a trellis. So we'll edit that, we'll edit that a bit later. Um, got the idea here, got some uh, MDF. Um, Cut it to size, uh, and I painted the front. And got I got a sharpie pen to outline the black, to uh, kind of uh, kind of make a bit of a step. The reason why it's this way round, not the other way round. Unfortunately, the building wasn't finished, and um, there's a gap behind it, so I decided to have it that way round. But there you go. Okay, and there's my Buddha scene. Buddha was three pound fifty from Primark. My mum brought it for me, so we decided to make some pink trees to give you that kind of a kind of a China feel to it. Okay, so um, come round to the next next bit. I finished this one only just earlier, complete with uh, dinosaur fossil in the back. Uh, church, two pounds from eBay. It does actually light up. Uh, I made the tunnel myself, um, which essentially is just uh, polystyrene and of course the uh, the Woodland Scenics uh, rocks. And I have to say, I had, I had hours of fun making the rocks. I was really, imp really, really pleased with them, the way they turned out. Uh, the Hornby um, Skadal Shed, sorry. There you go, complete with my own uh, trump wall, which I put around the side. Um, yeah, kind of like that. It's almost got a World War II theme about it. Who knows, maybe, maybe I'll stick a tank on the side. This side was finished last night. Um, still a bit wet, but there you go. I've just put some gravel down to, to mask it. That area uh, is now finished. There's my uh, there's my apple tree. Quite impressed with that. Okay, this is the last section, um, which is the sawmill. Um, everybody's got a got a got a coal coal mine. No one seemed to have a have a timber yard. Um, these are ideas I've literally nicked from other people. To put it together, um, XB71. Any blade runner, runner fans in the house, they'll understand what that is. Now, this is going to be completed over the next couple of days. Uh, once that's done and painted, I'll see about what I'm going to put inside. Probably a thick layer of um, clear PVA or, or some varnish, but we shall see. Uh, got some houses over here complete with someone in the garden there he is who knows what he's doing uh, put some sellotape down did the various bits and bobs and pulled the sellotape back up there you go this is all, another bit of the trump wall this time rather than scrim it was net curtain which I then uh, painted grey okay uh, working bridge unfortunately my son uh, bashed it the other day so I've had to uh, I've had to glue it back down, it's gluing as we speak, but uh, it, it does actually um, 
go up and down. But once that's uh, once that's glued, and I'll take the weight back off. It should spring uh, spring back into place. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.